What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be continuing the Mars series and I am going to be talking about having your Mars and your partner's 10th house. In many ways, the theme here is really centered around power and success. The two partners with this placement can have a lot of very similar kind of ambitions and aspirations. And the Mars person to the house person can act as a really big role model. This does show the two partners having a strong desire to go public in some way together. And they do have that very similar ambition or drive in common when it comes to the way they approach their professional lives. But the Mars person has the ability to help the house person, especially when it comes to them achieving some kind of goals, some kind of big career related objectives. And there's an enjoyment. The Mars person does enjoy and really appreciate being able to discuss different ideas when it comes to the more professional side of things with the house person. And in some cases, the Mars person could even work as the house person's publicist or um, public relations representative when it comes to their career or their job. And even in that case, the house person really appreciates and admires the Mars person's skills. This placement shows that there is a lot of mutual respect between the two partners and there could also be that desire to accomplish something together publicly. This relationship can be one that is slower to develop and it can come across as though it is a more distant or cold one, more so than what you'd expect with other relationships in synastry. After all, this is the 10th house of status and the focus here is more so professional aspirations, um, reputation, fame, power, and even public image. At first glance, when looking at the Mars person, the Mars person looks as though they are unbothered or even indifferent towards the house person. But in all actualness, when it comes to the way the Mars person views the house person, their seriousness is really their admiration and their respect and even care towards the house person. There might still be a bit of a power struggle when it comes to whether things are made public with this relationship or whether they are entirely kept hidden. The house person may keep the Mars person at what feels like an arm's length, but when the house person does decide to give in to the Mars person and kind of let them in, they may experiment with this theme of control and restraint when it comes to the way that they are interacting with the Mars person. And by that I mean that the house person can at times get a kick out of the Mars person chasing or begging them. This power play can be one that is very unconscious and based on how the house person views or relates to the masculine at large. Since this house governs the masculine principle, the father relationship, the way that the house person views the role of a husband or their relationship with the most important male in their lives are all subconsciously influencing the house person when it comes to the way in which they handle and engage with the Mars person in some parts of this relationship. Especially when it pertains to the theme of power and success. The Mars person sees a lot of opportunities when it comes to being able to help the house person 
especially when it comes to them being able to progress in professional and social status. And kind of like with the sixth house, where the Mars person would want to help the house person when it comes to the work routines in daily life. With the sixth, with the tenth house, the kind of assistance that the Mars person is giving to the tenth house person is more so of a bigger advancement. It is more so something that the house person will be known for. And the house person may really respect and admire the way in which that Mars person has handled their own career and their persona and public image. This is such a great placement for mutual appreciation and respect. And it can be especially appealing to people who have strong earth placements in their birth charts, the like Virgo, Taurus, or even Capricorn. It can also be appealing to people with strong second house, sixth house, or tenth house placements. The synastry can be highly advantageous, especially because of how the Mars person is able to help the house person when it comes to them growing in their career publicly and advancing in their overall public image. And even though the house person can enjoy and appreciate the security and the safety that does come with the Mars person, there is also a lot of genuine there is also a very genuine connection between the two partners. With your partners, Mars entering your 10th house, they are very likely to have a very strong influence and impact on your status, your career, and public reputation. And in so many ways, the two partners with this industry are entering into a contract where they are really building each other up. But in the negative, if the Mars is harshly afflicted in relation to the 10th house, they can instead have a negative or destructive impact on the house person's professional life and public reputation in some way. Well, that does it for this video of having your Mars in your partner's 10th house. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more videos. Well, that is where I love and leave you. Thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye guys.